Hi guys and welcome to today's video tutorial. Today we will be teaching you how we can use animated GIFs in HitFilm 4 Express. So normally when you would think about importing a GIF, you'd press the import button, select your GIF, and then what you do is you drag it down into your editor. Now you may think this has worked, but instead what it's done is it's just created a single image from the first frame and it doesn't actually play back as an animated GIF at all. So to get it to play back as an animated GIF in HitFilm, what we have to do is to separate each of the frames as images. So here I am at easygif.com. I will leave the link to this website in the description. And what it does is it edits your GIFs for you. So you can do all sorts of things with your GIFs, but one thing we want to do with our GIF today is use the GIF split. So just click on that right up here and make sure you choose your file and now that I've chosen my GIF file, I can just press Upload. Now it might take a while and you'll see the upload in the bottom left hand corner right there, 22-24%. And when it's done, you should see your GIF played back as normal. You've got a bunch of tools here, the one we want again is Split, so make sure that's selected. And the Split options underneath there, just make sure to leave it on the default because that works the best. And then all you have to do is press Split it. And it will split it up for you into all of its images. Now I'm just going to scroll down all the way to the very very bottom here and at the very bottom you'll see this button that says download frames as zip. So once you've done that you can just click this button and it will download the frames as a zip file and you can unzip that file and it'll have a folder with all of your images in it. So I'm on a Mac and it might be slightly different for you if you're on Windows but all you have to do is unzip the file by just double clicking on it and then you've got this folder with all the different GIFs in it. So that's what we're going to use in HitFilm. Back in HitFilm, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Project tab. Actually, I'm going to delete this GIF first, and I'm going to go back in the Project tab, and I'm going to set the frame rate to be the frame rate of the GIF as it plays back. Now, to be honest, I don't really know the frame rate of the GIF as it played back, so I'm just going to say 30, um, which is a standard video rate. However, if your, if your GIF looks some, like you can actually see the frames, you might want to try a slower frame rate. You can just click apply, and now your timeline is at that frame rate. Next, you want to import special media by hitting this button up here, and select image sequence. Once you've navigated to the place where all your images are, just make sure you go into that folder, and you select open, and you'll see this uh, image sequence file, 600 by 600 pixels, 3 seconds and 7 frames at 30 frames per second. And you can now drag this into your editor. Now, because it's at 1080p, um, the actual size of the video differs, but the main thing is that we got the frame rate in there. So just click no, or if you want to, you can click yes. But I just want to keep mine at 1080p, and you can see that it plays back pretty well. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this helped you out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.